Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I have two examples on how to take a large array or list and then separate them into several arrays or several list using the link function chunk. This is a good skill to have. Let's do this. In our first example, we'll be using an array of strings. The goal of chunk is to take all the elements available in your array, which is 50. Then using a chunk size, break down that big list into a series of chunk size groups. Here you can see we started with one of 10 and we got to 10 of 10. Each group had five elements, which is the chunk size. Here is the source code for example one. Press pause now and when you're done, I will step through the code for this example. Let's begin executing this program. I will meet you on line 27. Before we execute 27 on line 14, I went to the internet to a search engine and I typed in array list of USA states and I found something that had a list of states. I just put quotes around it and commas and that's how I build this list. Then notice here I say var chunked equals USA states, that's the name of my variable, dot chunk five. That means for each chunk, I'm going to put five elements in that. So notice one, two, three, four, five. That would be my first chunk. One, two, three, four, five. That would be my second chunk. As you probably noticed, I have five states on each line and we have uh, 10 lines. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times five is 50. Okay, you know all the math now. Now I'm going to execute this line and then guess what we're going to do? We're going to go look at chunked. So chunk view results. Notice it says string of five. So there are our first five. Here are our second five. So you can see here from zero to nine. So we have 10 sets of values. So notice here I say for L in chunked and you see what chunked was. Let's step over that, F10. I'm going to print out a blank line. And then notice I set the index to 1. And then I say index plus plus. Well, after this line gets done executing, I will then do the plus plus and increment that. And then I will get my chunked count, F10. And then because I bought this over into L, L is itself a list and it's a list of five elements and then I'm going to loop over that five times and then notice I tab in. So let's F10 this one time and then notice on my output, let's bring that over so you can see it. And here you can see my output that I'm on group one of 10, Alabama, Alaska. I'm still inside that loop, F10 and notice I'm gonna stay in there, Arizona, Arkansas, we need one more. And then we're California and notice I pop out of there and then I come back and get the next chunk. I print a line, I print a header, and now I'm two of 10 and I do it five times. I think you understand it now. I'll meet you on line 38. You can see now that we have from group one through group 10, each of them has five elements. Those are all 50 states. Example one is all done. Here is the input and output of example two. Notice in the center is JSON. I have an array of JSON objects for the United States. On the boundaries, notice I have groups one through five, each group having 10 members. Here is all the source code for the second example. The input to this problem is an array of JSON elements. Each element is a state, giving its name, abbreviation, the capital city, and its longitude and latitude positions. Below in the comments, look for a message from Software Nuggets. I have provided all the source code for both examples. Before we start stepping through the code, we do have one package, NewtonSoft, that you would need to install. You can right click on packages and say manage NuGet packages, and then just look for NewtonSoft. It's a pretty easy install. Now, once you get that installed, we'll be able to use this load states. 
Notice load states comes down here and deserializes a bunch of text. Now that JSON is this file right here. And notice these are all the states. Now all of this is available in comments below and you can just go grab that source code. So let's step through this program. Let's do it. So notice the first thing I will do is I will load all states, hit F11, that gets us in there. And then my file is in a location. I'm gonna see, hey, does that file exist? Yeah, it does. Now once that file does exist, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read that whole file in and I'm gonna put it into just to a variable. Now once it's into that variable, I'm gonna deserialize that and I'm gonna make that look like a list of states. States is a very simple object where you got the abbreviation, name, capital, latitude, and longitude, and notice they are all strings. So in one line, I'm gonna get all that data, F10, and then I'm gonna return USA up into the variable states, which is a list of states, F11, gets us back. Now notice I'm going to use the function chunk and I'm going to say 10. So using states, which has 50 elements, I'm going to make chunks of 10, F10. And then when we debug chunk, notice that we have five elements, one, two, three, four, five, and each of them has 10 elements from zero to nine is 10. I think you get it. Then what we're gonna do is just like with the last example, I'm gonna loop over the data, loop over the elements, and just my output is a little bit different because now I'm dealing with a list. And I'm gonna print out the name, the abbreviation, and the capital. I'll meet you on line 27. Notice on our output, we got group one of five from Alabama all the way to Georgia. And notice that I'm printing the state name, the abbreviation, and then the capital. I just finished the programs and here we can see from group one of five down to group five of five, each of these groups will have 10 members. And that is how we were able to use chunk 10. And there you have it team, being able to use the chunk command to separate a big list array and make littler sets, chunk size. This right here is a very useful function. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below. And if this video was worthy of a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that as well. Guess what team? This video is done and I'll see you back in my next video. Have a great week.